Hey guys, it's Rob. In this little video, I want to show you how you can set up my little translation package for Windows Forms. To get started, you first need to think about how you actually want to translate your forms, like if you want to use a file-based approach or something similar. In this case, I'm going to use the JSON file approach and we are going to install the needed dependencies in the next step. For this, you can open the little menu like here. It's saying extras here in German, but don't get confused as it's pretty easy to find the right way here. So go to the NuGet package manager and click here, manage NuGet packages for this project or solution. Then you will see the NuGet package manager. Go to search and enter the name of the package. I would say rskibay.i18n. It's my German name, so don't get confused here. There you will see different packages. For our example, we will need the base package. So we are going to install that after it has finished. And we can just install the JSON package as well. Or if you want to use any, you can, for example, use this as well for sure. But I'm going to use JSON. So I'm going to install it as well. Now, in the last step, I'm going to install the WinForms package. Now everything is ready and we are going to set up everything we need. The easiest thing here would be to copy some things from my homepage. I'm going to switch it over here so you can see it. So I'm going to link this blog post in the video description, but for now just scroll down a bit and there you will see that we are going to first import the needed namespaces, which are those two. So we are going back to our little project and we are opening the form one code file. Now we are going to import the corresponding models and JSON namespaces. This will now enable us to actually use the following things. But before we get started deeper, we will now create this folder structure, which is listed over here. So we are opening the Visual Studio again. Click with your right mouse button over here and choose Open Folder in File Explorer, which is on the bottom. I know it's hard to see at this moment, but just make sure you open this folder of your project. Then you can go into bin debug, in my case .NET Windows 6, and now I'm going to create the structure which was listed over here. In the first step, we need a basic internationalization folder, which in short is i18n. Then we are going to use JSON. So we are going to create a JSON folder. And there we will go ahead and create some files. The files needed are listed over here. In my case, I'm going to create a translation considering the English and German language. So in the first step, I will create this languages.json file. I'm going back to the folder and now I'm going to create this file. Yep, confirm. And now after I've got my file working over here, I need to fill some input inside. So I'm going to choose the German language as I've already said and the English one. So I'm just going ahead and copy this over here. Right click open with editor and then I'm going to place this. This is basically saying that there will be two languages, the first language being the German one. So we are having two languages over here and in the next step I'm going to save it. Now I will create the other two files as well. For this I copy, I will copy these things over here again. So new text document and English. And now I'm going to take the German one as well. New text and copy paste. Now I got my files set up in the first step, but there is some content missing. I need to specify, specify what I want to translate in the next step. I want something like a key one to be translated. This will make it so I'm going to copy it in the English file. I'm opening it again, pasting this content. 
the, the rest is not needed over here as I'm just going to use the key one translation, which means actions in this case. And then I will copy the other one as well, which is the German translation. And then I will put it inside the German file. Open with editor, copy and paste. I'm deleting the greeting, which I won't need over here. And I got my key one as well. For sure, make sure that both keys are the same or the translations won't work or won't belong together. This was it from the file folder structure configuration side. In the next step, we are going back to Visual Studio again. And now we will tell the UI what we actually want to see. And for this, I'm, for example, taking a simple button, put it on the form. And now I will say, hey, translator, please put the key or the value, the translated value behind key one. Please put the text here. And this can easily be done by specifying the tag property down here. I'm just going to say, hey, I need an internationalization or a translation over here. And please put the key one or the translated value behind key one inside of this button. And that's it. Now we are one step away from the competition. On my homepage, look for my name i18n and I want the WinForms helper to be used. Here it is. So I'm going to click it. And now I see the WinForms specific configuration or helper things. And yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just copying this code over here, these few lines for C sharp or vb.net depends on your needs. And now I will paste this code inside the form one, make sure that this is done in something like the bootstrapping startup process before the UI is actually used. I will even put it before the initialize component method. And now watch what happens. I'm starting the app. And now I can see my German translation because my system is using a German translation. For more information about this, please visit the base package. At this point, you're ready to fully translate your applications. But let me show you another quick example because you don't need to do this again in like the next form, etc. Just go ahead and create another form. I will just add another form over here, which I will just name form two, which you normally shouldn't, but it's just a tutorial, right? And now I'm creating like a label. And I will say again, I 18 n colon key one. Now, my application will know or I mean in the tag property for sure. Let's reset it back to label one. So now I set this tag property over here as well. And if I'm now showing this form, it will automatically be translated as well. So let's now actually use this button we have over here. So I'm going to create a click handler, which I'm doing just by double clicking the button. And now I will show the form two. So if I'm showing the form two right now, the label inside of it will already be translated at this point. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Please leave a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed my content or it provides any value to you. Bye.